Hello, this is Kush Sharma from smoothblogging.com. Welcome back to the How to Start a Blog video series. This is the part where we create a Twitter page for our blog. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you do is you go on Google and you type Twitter sign up. Okay, so you'll see this link here which says sign up Twitter. Just click on it. It'll most probably the first result. Okay, so you'll see this form, the sign up form here and I'm just gonna fill this up okay so I have filled this form up the sign up form and there's, there's just one thing you have to be careful about here you can see this uh, box for full name now it's up to you you know you can either give your own name or you can just name your blog here so it depends on your goal through your blog do you want to make your name popular which is your priority you know if it's not making yourself popular or even if that's you know second on your agenda so you can just put the name of your website here you know of course you can put your own name too many people do that too but in this case for this blog I don't really intend to use my name too often in the blog even though it might come sometimes but that's not my main focus my main focus is you know this keyword body weight zone so I'll just in this full name I'll not use my name instead I'll just use the name of my blog okay because when people come on your profile on Twitter, this is the name that they see in bold and big letters, okay? So just for branding purposes, this can be a better option than using your own name. But it's up to you, you can do either of the things. Okay, in the email address, I've used uh, the email address for my blog, that's contact at bodyweightzone.com, I've created a password, and I have chosen a username, which is again the name of my blog, bodyweightzone okay so let's just create let's just click here and create my account so you can see this page this is the page which comes just when you sign up and it says get started in less than 60 seconds so just click on next and now you just have to follow some people to get started so you can this really does not matter you know you can just follow anyone right now so I just click on the first five or six options and I just click on next okay now I'll say try five more so I can just select anything you know that's completely fine so let's just go and select anything so it's up to you so just keep following the time it says give you the option of next okay so now when it comes to this page add your contact securely you really don't have to do anything here so you just click on skip though you can if you have contacts on your email address you can just click on a particular option and it will send a mail to your contacts and it will tell you that you have a twitter page now so it can work if you have contacts but it's not really needed okay so okay so this is it and uh, when it comes to this bio uh, image the profile image thing you can just click on skip we'll do that later okay so you have your page now but to get uh, for your Twitter page to get activated you can see that Twitter has sent you a confirmation mail and you just have to verify by clicking on the link and this message will be there on your email you'll actually go to contact at your blog.com but as we have already forwarded that email to the email that we use so it'll come on your normal email okay so once you're done once you're verified this we just come back here okay so you can see that I have verified my account here I went to my email I clicked on the confirmation link and now my account is verified Now the first thing we have to do is we have to set up our profile so you click on me here and you'll see this okay so this is where you upload images the one you can see in gray is called a cover a Twitter cover image and this small square here will be your profile image okay so let's get started with uploading these images okay so to upload my image I have to click on edit profile here okay now you can see this box pops up here you can see this little icon here I just click on it and I'll click on upload photo okay now I already, I've already designed the cover photo for this it's very similar to what we designed for Facebook the cover image for Facebook but it's a little smaller than that so this is how it will look and it fits in perfectly I just click on apply ok 
okay great now the other thing we have to do is we have to upload the profile pic so i click on this small square icon here and you can see this pen here i just click on it and i click on upload photo and i'll select the photo which i already have and i click on okay now it'll show me how the image will look like so i can either zoom it in okay but i don't want to do that because it fits in perfectly right now and i just click on apply so you can see so now i just have to click on save changes and you can see that i have my two images which have fit in perfectly so as i told you in the previous video to know how i design these images right from scratch you can check out my designing course called smooth design workshop it's a course where i teach you in a step-by-step -step manner how to create these kind of images with the perfect size how to give all these effects how to add this text how to you know put in these little images within these images i i tell you everything i we prepare this image right from scratch together so you can check that course out and it's not just about the twitter and facebook images i tell you how to create logos i tell you how to create sidebar images every kind of images which relates to your blog whether it be the website or the blog itself whether it be the facebook page you know the facebook cover image everything is covered in that so do check that course out you can see the link that's in the description of this video and once you click on it you'll be able to see further details about that course so do check it out it's a, it's a great course to enhance your skills and it'll, it'll make your life much easier when it comes to the world of blogging okay so let's continue okay so the next thing we have to do is we have to add some text here okay and give the link to our website so we again click on edit profile and you can see that this thing opens up so you just click on it and give some details so i'm just going to use the same tagline that is everything you need to know about body weight works out or workouts Okay, you can use your own description or tagline out here okay location it's fine even if you don't want to use the location is fine for so website is important because if someone comes to your profile here on Twitter they can click on your link and go back to your website and that's the ultimate aim of any social media media page you know to take your visitors back to your blog or your website so I'm just gonna write in my website that is dot and I just click on save changes okay so you can see this is a clickable link so if someone clicks here they will go straight to my blog okay so this is done now the next step is we have to the, the posts that we created on our blog we are going to share those posts on Twitter just like we shared these those posts on the Facebook page in the previous video okay so let's let's do that okay so to share the posts we go back to our blog and we'll select one of these posts you can share both of them once you know how to but right now let's just share one of these posts so i'll share this post the best body weight workout routines so i just click on it so that i can get the link and you can see this post has opened up now i just have to copy this link here click on copy i go back to my twitter and just go on home here just click on home and you can see that this little window opens up where you can see this compose new tweet so this is where we create our tweet by which we will share this post now a tweet is just like a facebook uh, status update you know so it will go out to your followers it will also go out to the general public on twitter and to make it accessible to them we will use something called as a hashtag but you don't have to worry about that right now we'll see how that works so let's get started and let's create this tweet okay so we'll write we'll type something like okay check out the latest blog post on our blog uh, okay you just give them a hint of what it's about so it's about the best body weight workout routines on the best body weight workout routines okay and we just give the link here now you can see as I'm typing this character space, which is of 140 characters, it keeps going down, and we can't exceed more than one uh, more than 140 characters. Okay, that's the limit Twitter has set. 
So in this case, it's always better to shorten this link rather than use the original link, okay? Because once you short, once I shorten this big link, it gives us more space to write other things, okay? Now how you can do this is by going to a website called Bitly. There are many websites which do this, but this is a very popular one. So you go to Bitly. I've given the link in the description of the video. It's called B I. It's spelled as B I T L Y dot com. Bitly dot com and or i don't know maybe it's pronounced as bit lie i'm not very sure but uh, just go to this website and you can just paste your link here and click on shorten okay now you can see a shortened version of this link has come so i just copied this and instead of using this link i can just paste this link here now you can see that this is a much shorter link which opens up you know space for you to write other things in your tweet and make it more informative okay it's not a necessity to do this but it's always advisable so you can make your tweet a really substantial one okay so this is our tweet and now what we'll do is that i'll just give it a hashtag i'll just tell you what that is so i use the hash button which is on the three number and i okay and i just uh, press shift and i press three so i'll get this hashtag and i'll just use a keyword to about you know uh, something which relates to this post so this is about health fitness body weight workout so i can use any of those okay so let's use workout here okay workout okay now what this does is that when i send this tweet okay anyone who is searching about anything related to workout and he has he or she has typed this particular word out there they will see this tweet come up in their home feed okay so we can use many hashtags to the time we don't run out of character space so i can maybe put in fitness okay so the more hashtags you use you know the larger audience you have at your disposal okay so but don't use too many of them otherwise the person reading the tweet might get a bit confused okay so maybe you can use around two or three but that's fine so this is how we create a tweet so you're given the link so when someone sees this they can just click on this link and get back to our blog and i just click on tweet okay so just to check whether this tweet is gone i just click here on one tweet and you can see this is our tweet and when someone sees this they can click on this link and come right back to our website and read what that post is about okay so this is how you share this is how we share a tweet on twitter okay so this is how you set up the twitter page for your blog and the aim now is to increase the followers here but we'll do that in a separate video and so that's about it also don't forget to check out the smooth design workshop course where i teach you how to create images like these from scratch the link is given in the description of this video so i'll see you in the next video bye for now